Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Vitamin C Podcast. Mm-hmm. It is episode 8, and it is after the holidays. It is. It has actually a new year. Uh, it is currently yes. January, January 15th to date this video. January 15th, 2021. We are entering a new year with fresh ideas, fresh faces, and, you know, just Gucci. We're going to be, we're going to be, uh... I'm just gonna throw that there. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, working on some shit yeah. this uh, this year, working shit out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully. Oh my god, I'm leaning back. I mean, we're gonna hopefully be doing a lot more this year than last year. Eh, we'll see. Yeah. Um. So just to start off, I you have a new setup. Oh yeah, it's fucking it's, it's my fucking gamer setup over here. Gamer um, setup. PC yeah. masterizer. Yeah. So. Well, oh shit, you know what though? What? I'm wondering, because I have my VR stuff under the computer right now on yeah, my huh? desk. If I move that to to like a hanger, I could put the PS3 maybe over here. Probably, yeah. You just need the right cables. And also, another issue would be, wait, no, that does use... HDMI. Can I? I think I can use HDMI. You can probably that. use HDMI with that monitor. I don't see why. Because I know it has display to. port, but I wasn't sure if what it. What kind? What? Uh, what? Uh, what webcam is that? So that's the Logitech C922. Uh, I got it a long time ago from a buddy. How much did that run you? Uh, it didn't. It was, gift. Uh, it was a gift. But I think it was like a hundred. Oh, that's not bad. 150 maybe. It's fine quality. It's not it's, terrible. It's uh, you can play around with it if you have like logic capture and shit. Like that's when I, like if I've ever you ever see me in a call and I I have like text under me or somewhere on or goofy shit. It's because I'm using logic capture. Hmm. Fascinating. Um, yeah, it's cool. Uh, it's not the greatest. Like honestly, I I did like a lot of research because I you know like I want to get into production so cameras i research cameras and then i will research streaming cameras for uh-huh. when i started streaming uh cameras like that are not beneficial like if no. you want a better webcam just buy a real fucking camera like a canon or something Oof. because yeah, but those will run you a fucking yeah price. those those will ram a stick up your ass and say it's a good deal so mm-hmm. uh and we don't know that much about actual cameras no, and lenses we don't <laughs> I don't. I, I don't, don't give a fuck, really. But you know, because I'm not that big into live action. Like it's, we tried s- sketches and stuff in the past, and it it just we didn't could work. do. We could do it. We could. We just don't. We haven't applied ourselves to it. We need it's, to it's, actually apply ourselves to it and get into actually writing. You the know, problem, the whole situation. The, the problem with that is that it's easier for us to make something that doesn't require you're light. just worried about showing your face no not even my face because you're it... worried about your face no no no. here's the thing because there's a few youtube channels and there's a few uh big whatever like okay for example corridor digital they're an actual production company and they focus mainly on real life and animation and all that stuff together uh-huh. And their videos look good, but it it's such a hard ass thing to pull off. Yeah, great. <laughs> what are you turning into? It's quoting Manborg. Manborg. Oh, oh, oh my like god. Ezo. Anyway. Oh god, fuck that movie. But yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we talked we'll, about that last time. We did. We'll we'll get the equipment. I still yeah, have we'll to edit everything. episode seven. Yeah, you better get on that. <laughs> snap, snap. Snap it. Chop, I'd help chop. you, but I don't exactly have a PC. I could help you, help but you. you know, I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> no, I'm not because I don't have the fucking shit to do it. I don't. I can't I do anything. Well, here's the thing: like, you you can just be here and help me. I have multiple monitors. Do you have multiple mice? Yeah. Multiple keyboards. Yeah. Am I even able to do something on a different monitor with a different keyboard and shit? Probably. I could probably figure that out. Probably. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Long nights of editing the podcast. The kid passed. I <laughs> was drunk off my ass the last time we did that. I thought, oh, hey, I can do this with my ass. Anyway. I thought you were going like on a Brandon Rogers type beat. Oh, no, no. Like, 
like a goblin trying to eat out my <laughs> like type. Yeah. No, no, no. I was just going. You were just you just I was going kind of going. You're I going. didn't really have anywhere to go with that, but, but um. But yeah, no, we we uh we can do a lot more stuff if we get the equipment. Yeah. But so yeah. it hasn't really been an interesting week. No, it 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 has been kind of bland. This week has been a fairly bland week. Um. Yeah. You know, work and such. It's, it's oh, uh, work is so much fun. Uh huh. So it's much so fun. fun. Gotta make that money. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to yawn, sorry. I thought it was a fake yawn. Well, it kind of, actually, it kind of was. That I didn't feel satisfied with that one. You ever, uh, you ever go, you, like, you, like try you think to yawn, you're going to yawn, and, and it's then like, it doesn't work but out. Then it's like, wait a minute, that's not a real yawn. The real yawn's coming. Yeah. I can feel it. It's down in here. Yeah. It'll get there, eventually. But, yeah. um... Yeah, it's been a... Stem. It's been a, it's been a kind of like a sterile week. Is that a thing? Do people say that? A sterile week? Yeah. This week has been very sterile. Very sterile. It doesn't I, produce no. a lot, you know? <laughs> well, no, because you don't hear like... like, like it's not, this you has don't been hear an that infectious word. week or it's like been... a gangrenous week. <laughs> it's fucking great. It's a yeah. sterile week. It's not a filthy week. A dirty, dirty week. Oh, so, welcome to Filth Week, where we talk about the best filth, number 10, filth. <laughs> oh my god, get that dude who has that camera or whatever, whatever effect that is. <laughs> number 10. <laughs> number 10, filth I found in the yard. <laughs> he's pretty good filth, but he's not good. <laughs> he's not the best filth. For a uh, second, I number you said something about Prego. <laughs> Prego, like the sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like their, uh, I like their uh, uh, Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce. <laughs> what does that have in it, Casey? Alf- Alfredo sauce. Yeah, what does that have in it? Well, you see, Alfredo sauce. It's Is it anything like, like Alfredo? It's kind of like Alfredo sauce, but a little zestier. It's got a little bit more of a, Ooh! you know. <laughs> so it's uh, like, so you clubbed a woman into the vat. Yeah. Um... And then- <laughs> Yeah, your fucking Ooh. your ex wife stopped by, and I was and I was like, ex-wife. "Hey, why don't you come into my factory here?" And then I fucking Joker like Ace Chemical planted her. <laughs> threw, oh, threw into her vat of Alfredo sauce. <laughs> That's healthy. Yeah. So if you don't see her, just you know, yeah. no explanations there. Just uh, pretend you didn't hear this podcast. Yeah, pretend you didn't hear this. Uh, you hear that FBI? You yeah, don't tell Cody it. about this. Yeah, don't tell Cody. Don't tell him. Fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been actually shit. considering. Um, I kind of want to get a little bit into cooking. Really? I've been thinking about it lately. Yeah. Um, I need to. I learn. have had the idea to, and I know it's probably been made already, but I want to make like an apple chicken or like an apple turkey. Like a, like a nice poultry that's very juicy, very kind of like a sweetness to it. Mm. I want to try and create like... You want to know where the idea actually came from? Um, Monster Hunter World actually gave me the idea. Really? Because you can see the handler in, I think it's Astera, and she's sitting at the table, and she's, like, Mm -hmm. eating an apple, and she sets that down, and then she takes, like, a turkey leg, takes a bite of that, puts that down, then she, like, takes them both, and, like, takes a bite out of each of them, and she's like, oh, wow, and I'm sure apple chicken are out. Can you... Here's a weird question. This is a weird thought that I've had. You just gave me a fucking jump scare there. Can you? <laughs> like, like I thought you were going to come at me over the table. <laughs> I'm not always going to hit you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I don't always beat you. Just most of the time. <laughs> the fuck? It's like an abusive relationship. You can wear short sleeve shirts mm-hmm. here so people, don't, so people don't have to see the bruises, all right? But look. <laughs> no, my question is. No shipping. Can you just... All right, can now that just, we got that out of the way, can you just buy turkey? It. What do you mean, like, the food, like a turkey, an an animal, no, like a fucking like a butterball, like a fucking turkey. What do you mean? Have you can not you just buy a Thanksgiving? Not on a holiday. Can you just yes. buy a turkey? You should be able Where? to. <laughs> 
any like, store. I never think about that. Like, can you actually you buy... You should just be able to get it from a store. Like, I get... Like, even ham. Like, ham and... Tur- like, a big ham or, like, a big turkey. Can you actually buy those not on a holiday? Or do they just, like, show up? Like, oh, hey, here's your turkeys and hams. What do you... No, I don't think there's se- any seasonal thing. Uh, fresh and frozen turkey, how to cook. Uh, no, let's... I literally looked up, like, a butterball turkey. Yeah, here they are. What the fuck? Butterball all natural whole turkey breast for four million six hundred sixty five thousand fifty four dollars and three cents. Walmart. I will screenshot this and put it in the cast. What the fuck? (laughs) What the fuck? I don't. I have never seen such bullshit in my life. Walmart is selling a four million dollar turkey. Yep. But down there it says two twenty eight, I guess per pound. What? I I am very confused. Anywho, it just it never occurs to me because like when do you buy a turkey or a ham when it's not a holiday? You know. Like the closest I could think to that would be like a pork roast or a beef roast. Yeah, um... You never... You don't just, like, be like, hey, I'm gonna go cook a fucking turkey. I'm sorry, I gotta click on this link. I gotta see where it takes me. It says Walmart. It's... It is Walmart. It's the official Walmart site? Oh, my God. So, the listing is wrong. And the turkey itself, when you actually go to Walmart, is $14. But... $14. $14.02. But the listing on Google is $4 million. Why? <laughs> I t- Did someone just like crank like Some the poundage code? up? I'm thinking that like something in the code because I don't know. I have no idea. That's fucking hilarious. Well, though. I just I need to find like a very basic recipe like, hey, here's how to use apples and cooking your chicken. Uh, but then like work with it. Yeah. Start like, hmm, maybe I can I add do a turkey. sprinkle of this. I wouldn't do apple turkey. I would chicken. do like apple chicken. All right, start maybe with chicken. like Maybe do like a smoked, because I know smoke like an apple smoked chicken. Because like, if you think about it, I'm if you smoke right things now, right, dude. if you I, yeah, I know, same. But if you smoke things right, it turns into a really good barbecue. Um, my uncle has yeah, but I'm a not smoker. I'm not talking like a barbecue like it was like throwing a sandwich. I mean like a whole chicken. Yeah, or like breasts, just like a nice like. You mean like a whole thing. Well, it doesn't even have to be a full thing. Like, even if it's, like, a dinner for two kind of thing. Like, just, like, a few breasts. Like, throw them in. Not your breasts. <laughs> Those could feel like a family of four. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, trying to, I'm losing weight, and you're just over here talking trash. Uh, don't, hey, don't I be I was like, about to buy you that $4 million turkey. Don't look like, you don't just, talk to you me like that. You had to say man. that. Hey, don't be like that, man. You got fine man nibbies. Man <laughs> nibbies. <laughs> yeah, you got fine man what tibbies. What the fuck's a man tibby <laughs> Man tibbies. <laughs> Activia. <laughs> no. Yo, this motherfucker got some good man tibby nibbies over here. Tibby <laughs> nibbies. No, dude, that's not okay. <laughs> what is that? Oh god. Oh my fuck. But yeah, um, I'll think about picking it up. It's just, I feel like I need to do more. Because for the most yeah. part, I just sit around. Well, honestly, like cooking's a good thing because. Well, like, once you move out, and also... Can you like, imagine how many babes I'll get if I know how to cook? <laughs> I'm, no, I, you, you think that's a joke. Seriously, like, cooking's important. I can't Not that cook. I'm really concerned about I that. I got my grandmother's fucking cooking. I cannot cook. Look, look at it this way. When we eventually get a place, one of us is going to have to do beef. cooking. I can make ground beef. You can make ground beef? I can make steak. You can make steak? In a pan? Yeah. And, uh, I can make... Prepackaged ramen. Wow. Yeah. Fucking Ramsey over here. Yeah, Gordon. Fuck it. Do not bring that chip block back into this. <laughs> I love. No, I I still love her. He's awesome. But uh. Yeah, one of us is gonna have to cook. It ain't. You think we're gonna survive on fucking ramen and soup? Whenever you want a steak, or you need somebody to make some ground beef. I want. Okay. <laughs> Don't, don't do it. I want a steak and I want ground beef on the side. 
<laughs> some ground my finger. See, like, okay, <laughs> but the, the, fun, the fun part about doing an old man voice is, like, sure, you can do, like, the SpongeBob old man. Yeah. Like, you can do, like, the stereotypical, or you can just, like, go full hog, like, southern old man. Yeah, just, you, you mean, like, well, uh, I, I was on TV the other day, and I saw this girl. <laughs> I still she had her watch. whole titties. <laughs> she had her whole titties. Her whole titty. Her singular whole titties. <laughs> so I'm looking at these other turkeys. Uh huh. Why yeah. are there so many different turkeys from Walmart? One hundred and thirteen dollars. Well, they're probably some of them are probably they're probably sold Premium by the pound. Premium skin. They're probably sold nine by pound. The, yeah, they're probably sold by a different pound. Okay, but how many pounds is four million dollars of turkey? It's a hefty fucking turkey, dude. Yeah, it's like the first result. It says it's like fucking Rodan shooting that motherfucker down and cooking him for, for Thanksgiving. Bro, could you imagine if they killed Rodan? Like if Rodan was real and Godzilla and everything, and then he just gets shot down by like an F twenty two. That turkey is what happens when Godzilla fucking like full breathalyzes. <laughs> he just fucking Rodan. He fucks and just turns him into a cooked, like a perfectly cooked turkey. Because like <laughs> in the last movie, Rodan was kind of like a little like Rodan side, was a bitch. He, he was a little <laughs> side bitch servant boy. The coolest thing he, he, he was did was fuck bitch. up that little Mexican town. Like yeah. that's all he did. That was about all he did. Was that Mexico? I don't know. I don't actually remember. That was a while was ago. Or something. Or is that some other Just Spanish the, the part where he, he he sacrifices himself to revive Godzilla, and then the theme, like a remake of that the wasn't theme. Rodan. No, I'm not talking that about was Rodan. Mothra. No, no. In the latest movie, the King of the Monsters. Yeah. Uh, when the guy, when the no, the human, oh, the guy, the man, the human goes and sacrifices himself for Godzilla, and in, in this oh, ancient yeah, yeah, temple yeah, underwater. Yeah, yeah. And then, okay. like, the main theme plays in Godzilla comes back and eyes the humans. Dude, just I liked beautiful. that movie. I, I hated of... the people, and that was it. Look, if you're going to make a monster movie, just take all the people out and just give me a fucking monster you need fight. People, just, if you just a need, whole movie. If you need people, the, the Asian man who says, let them fight, is all you need. I and then the know. fight Fortune happens. Cookie wants. <laughs> I cannot believe they pulled a fucking bit. Like, that seemed a little... Wait, what did he say? He's He, like, says this big, like, deep, like... Thing. Thing. And then and he's like, he said, where'd you he's hear like, that? Yeah, he's like, where'd you hear that? And he's just like, I read it in a fortune cookie once. I hate that. And I'm that. like, what? I hate that. There's no way There's, in hell. That's all on the nose, don't Let you Let them fight. What is it, talking about fight. parenting or some shit? Well, the thing is, like, okay... <laughs> Think of it this way. I keep looking back down at the $4 million turkey. <laughs> Get rid of it. Put Godzilla up or something. <laughs> I'll just put my boy. Another turkey. Look at it this way with the whole let them fight thing. You got two fight. You got two apex predators of the world. Unmatched. Only The only match that they have is with each other. That's true. You're not going to get in the middle of that fucking thing. Oh, fuck no. You're like, going to let that fight you play can out. Do, unless you have Mecha Godzilla or Mecha Gearus or Even whatever. Even that. Don't... Fuck with them. Megagirus is the giant, like, alien dragonfly. You're thinking of Mogira. Uh, I am thinking of Mogira. And I'm pretty sure Mogira, I don't even think that, was that a human thing? Or was Mecha that Godzilla 3 is Mogira the best, though. Out like, of all oh, the Kiryu? human creations. Type 3 Kiryu? Oh yes. my Beautiful. That thing was awesome. You used to have a fucking toy. Yes, I loved Kiryu. He was like my was favorite. Awesome. Even though he's technically like a fake Kai, even though he technically kind of is because he's, he's built, a a, he's like built around the skeleton of an old Godzilla. Well, he's 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 the equivalent of because um... you remember the movie, right? Like he shows up to yeah, kill, because they to found fuck up they Godzilla. found Godzilla's um, skeleton and they yes. took the remains and made the mech based off of that skeleton. Yeah, but I think like they actually have like, he mm -hmm. has like remnants of that older Godzilla in him. So, like, he goes, they send him out to fuck up Godzilla, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck up Godzilla. <laughs> and then Godzilla roars, and, like, that fucking triggers Activates. some PTSD shit in it Kiryu's basically, head, and he's like, it's, dude, it, oh. it, it goes Evangelion. It literally goes Evangelion, yeah, where, the, and then he where destroys, the mechs turn, like, into, yeah, like, creatures. and then he creatures. destroys, like, more of Tokyo in two <laughs> hours than Godzilla would do in, like, a whole day. Yeah, pretty <laughs> he much. He just comes in and it's just like, fucking fuck you! wreck shit. Because it's, like, it literally is the previous Godzilla. I didn't understand that, either. That was a like, previous Godzilla? Yeah, no, I didn't, I was very confused, because I had the old movies, and I was younger, so I guess I didn't pay enough attention or whatever. Mm. But, like, I didn't really understand... 
a dead Godzilla and then another one just appearing and continuing. Well, the thing the is that like, Godzilla, it confused me. Godzilla was created as a sort of like propaganda thing for nuclear yeah, nuclear be, be, warfare. Because because of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah, he was created as a he result of all that shit. He was basically Mother Nature Strikes Back. Yes. So like who's to say he's the only one? Who's to say that he's the only member of his species that got fucking radiated the shit out of See what I thought happened was that they had the, I thought he died. He did. But he grew I thought he came back like grew back the same one. No. Because the like first Godzilla, I'm pretty sure, was killed by what's I think called like the oxygen oxygen destroyer or something, which yeah, is just this yeah. big ass fucking bomb yeah. that they like sent down into the ocean and it just fucking and he's just yeah. dead. There he goes. Yep. They brought that back that. in that new movie, in really? the newest movie, King of the Monsters. They brought the oxygen destroyer back. That's that bomb that they send down oh, to like fuck up Godzilla and yeah. Ghidorah. But that. And that's what makes Godzilla go down into the temple because he's like recharging because yeah. that fucked him up so bad. Yeah, that makes sense. So then he goes down I with a did. nuke, I reactivates like him, and he's movies. like, Ugh. "You know what freaked me the fuck out? Uh, what is it, Batra or the the other one? The like the evil Mothra? Batra. Yeah, disgusting piece of shit looking thing when it murdered that Japanese couple." I have not. Them. I have it not seen them. any of the like old movies. Oh, the, in so long. I used to have a bunch of the old. I'm movies. I'm thinking about picking up because I know that they have like a big collection. Don't I'm don't pick about them up. That up. Don't pick them up. Just like buy them online. They're probably you can get all of them for. Probably yeah, but imagine how cool the case probably would be. Yeah, but what the fuck are you gonna read them in the PS4? Yeah. Eh. Game consoles play movies, dude. I know, but you like you have movies and you usually don't. You, um, Manborg. <laughs> That's an exception, and you know it. No, um, but uh, I meant like the, the um. There's a part in the old one when hmm. Batch was first coming to be. He has different forms. He's like his larvae. Form. Yeah. In this part, he's on a wall, like of a building in an alley, and the guy or the chick or something is like going around or whatever, and it's it eats him, and then this black goop like. Uh, uh, it just nice. it made me sick to my Sounds stomach hot. because it, it was actually scary it was like a monster eating this human well yeah because horrible. in all reality if that kind of shit existed we'd it's be a giant fucked. bug it would be eating a human it scared yes. the fuck out of me it would be terrifying that's yeah. the point it if that disgusting. shit existed we'd be fucked <laughs> oh yeah we'd be, we'd be fucked <laughs> we'd be Although, completely fucked I like how in the newer movies Godzilla is less of a Less of a nature strikes back and more of a balance of nature. He is what is essentially a force of nature. He's just he, like... He is there to keep the balance rather than to fight the humans or fight the people specifically. Yeah, he'll fight them both depending on how... Like, it depends on how we, you know, you go about it. Before, yeah. he was always against the humans because that that was what was harming everything. That's what was creating a bunch of the monsters and issues and mm -hmm. everything. And so he would fight humans, and it was always kill Godzilla, kill Godzilla. I don't understand Mothra either, and the little twin girls. Yeah, the little twin I was girls. Very fucking confused. Uh, oh god, I didn't they're understand like a, that I'm pretty shit. Sure they're like at an all. ancient race, and Mothra's like. Are they the old... ones that built the temple? I want to say that they're an ancient race, and like Mothra was like their guardian back in the day. What the fuck is Mothra? Hold on. I'm going to look up the twins right quick. Because the thing about the Godzilla universe and Kaiju from like Pacific Rim and from the CKC oh, forum. The first Pacific Rim is so good. And whatnot. The difference there is like the like well, so most good. of these people, most of these Kaiju had a place. The Kaiju in Pacific Rim were fucking interdimensional aliens mm -hmm. that were literally made as like they're basically super soldier monsters to fight and take over worlds and um the kaiju on the forums were created via events that people they're came fairies. up with what infant island is the fictional island featured in 1961's mothra inhabited by indigenous islanders who worship the kaiju among them are tiny twin fairies emmy and yumi well, that explains I why mean, they were in Ito. the cage. A.K.A. the Peanuts. The, the, the 
Pilot. Who is singing is key to awakening their goddess or protector. Okay, so, so Mothra's an ancient kaiju, or not... Well, she could be ancient. She's Mothra basically their the guardian kaiju. slash goddess. Yeah. They worship her as... That, but there's no distinct that. actual origin for Mothra. I mean, there might be, like, in, like, comics, because I know, like, those, like, Godzilla comics and shit, there might be, like, some explanation or something. Probably. Also, I kind of find it interesting how they took Ghidorah in the newest movie, because, like, in, uh, what was it, like, the Astro Monster or something? Like, but the, like, original appearance of Ghidorah, I think he just kind of, like, shows up from space, and he's like, meh, meh, I'm an <laughs> alien dragon, meh. But in this, See, it's like, I know the yeah, original... this fucker crash-landed here, like, so long ago, and now he's encapsulated in ice and Well, back in the, shit. one of the old movies that I remember where Godzilla, I believe, does the kickflip. <laughs> the famous like, kickflip. Like, 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 I don't know if it was the one where he gets on his tail and he just oh yeah kicks. And he just fucking glides. I don't I don't know if it was that one or if it was one where he he literally like does like kung fu shit. But one of the older movies with I think it's Bagon. No, that's a Pokemon. Bag no Bagon. It's it's one of the older movies. It has King Adora. Uh -huh. It has Mothra and it Giant has yes. The uh, red floppy ears. Godzilla, fuck. Uh, giant monsters all out attack or something. And they like that. and they fight Godzilla. Your Baragon. And Godzilla's You're thinking of Baragon. Yeah, Baragon. And um, uh, Godzilla's the enemy in this one, and those three are the guardians of Earth, supposedly. Which is strange one. for which Ghidorah really to be fucked a me up because I saw Ghidorah and I was like, I was like, that's King Ghidorah. He evil. He bad boy. What he do? Like, <laughs> like what's happening? That's bad boy. Yeah. I don't know I, the I lore behind confused. it. There's probably lore. It's been so long since I've seen well, any the, of those old so movies. There's so many different fucking... Like, all the old movies, I, I don't... Maybe I'm wrong here, but they seem to not correlate well. They they're seem probably, like, to very, They're very conflicting. No, they're not episodic. They're movies. But they conflict because I think other people made them. I don't think there's a continuity. Well, it's like Toho. Toho is like the... Yeah. The place, the fucking company... That's behind, like, mm -hmm. all the Godzilla shit. Yeah. And Toho, I'm pretty sure, is, you know, behind every single one. I don't think there's any Godzilla movies other than, like, yeah. Godzilla 1998, if we want to be specific. Yeah. The first American Godzilla film. I used which... to be I used to be in love with Godzilla 90s, oh, dude. That thing was awesome. Yeah, Godzilla. Just, like, the, the 90s, classic the look. The 90s Godzilla was pretty sick. That dog face. Ah, oh, it's so great. See, now, I was... Okay, so... Then there's, like, Godzilla Final Wars. I thought 2000 was very interesting. I thought it had a badass take. Millennium? The, the Millennium. one with the purple spikes. Yeah, actual the green one with, like, spikes. the purple spikes. Yeah, yeah, That one was interesting, but I personally did not like it. So, you know, I like, um... It was cool. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but the Godzilla Final Wars is a very, like, mixed movie. Like, is it good? Which one is that? Is it really? It was, like, the most recent like japanese i know one, godzilla, like shin, shin, godzilla. Shin, shin godzilla shin godzilla the most... was fucking cool and horrifying it's an interesting design that thing scared the shit out like you looked at it and you're like that ain't godzilla that's a goddamn monster yeah, Godzilla then, would fight to the especially death. Especially like his like younger form where he's just like this oh, like bug eyed creepy. fucking he is, dude and he's yeah. crashing through the city and he's like bleeding oh, everywhere. My, ah. Oh god, that's fucking because I saw the clip of what when they defeated him or whatever. And it was just, just looking at parts of it. Just, ah. yeah, oh yeah, I won't spoil creepy. anything, but that slow pan at the end up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. revealing and it's like well, that yeah. could have been bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Uh, I still want to see. I, I'll have to look, actually like watch it eventually, but it was pretty good. Yeah, oh, yeah but I my, haven't my seen unpopular the movie. opinion. I just saw parts. Godzilla from Godzilla: Final Wars. I liked his design. Which one is? It? Let me. That's look like that the up. one from like the the fucking little figures, the figures that we have, the tall ones. That's like Final Wars Godzilla. What were you looking at? Uh, probably gonna do something. All right. Um, Godzilla Final Wars. Yeah, just look up Godzilla Final Wars design or something, and you'll see he has a bit of like a mammal face. Like his face kind of has like a like a almost like a kind of like the '90s one. 
He almost has like a rodenty look to oh, him. Oh, he reminds me of the '90s one. Yeah, like hang on, I'm coming over to look. Yeah, he's that got like one's a little... dope. Look at that spike. Oh, yeah, I don't remember who what design that's for, but it's like a design that's been popping up lately. But yeah, that one. Like go to, go to him. Yeah, he's got like a bit of a mammalian face. Oh, like it was the one that's very similar to '90s, but his spikes were way smaller. Yeah, I mean, I like him. I thought I I didn't. I probably didn't like him as much only because his spikes were smaller. Yeah. Like the 90s, I believe the 90s, unless I'm thinking of the wrong one. I just like, and I know it's his original design, but like his Godzilla's like original design where it just looks like a scaly pug. I'm just kind of like, <laughs> eh. Scaly pug. It's oh cool. Oh my god, I used to have that image as a background and there's a whole, there's a whole like, oh yeah, figurine yeah, yeah. and shit and stand. Yeah, that's Final Wars Godzilla. So I want to get, I want to get a little bit into... A blast from the past for you, uh, mm -hmm. since we're on the top of Godzilla oh, and sure. everything. We can keep this rolling. The CKC days. Oh my god, the, the CKC days. I'm not going to say who I was on the <laughs> forum, or what I made, but I do want to talk about it. I misspelled my username, and you was stuck with it the whole time. And then you, 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 said, you said to me, I remember, I'm like, I'm like, why did you say you're like this old, and you were like three years older than you actually were yeah i fudged and, my birthday and you were, a little you were like well i don't want people knowing my real birthday and i'm like i, used I don't to be, give a fuck i they used don't to know be my a, name yeah i used to be a very like i was like oh I don't know. Like, and now i don't give a fuck they didn't well because the law they didn't have any actual information on you no other than your you know like the exactly. forum information. they didn't have like any information so like i never like, saw the point of fudging the age i didn't i didn't either man but i did anyway oh my god i remember turning 15 i don't on the forums i, I don't believe oh my god because i remember looking on the forums and be like ah! i remember ma writing mediocre <laughs> fan fiction and then oh my dipping. god dude i did so many cringy things because Same. i a, a big problem and i thought about this today while we were working um a big problem that i heard was on the forums and I guess we were technically could have been part of this problem because we were younger. Um, a lot of the traffic, like the younger people on this on the platform, actually caused quite a bit of issues on the platform. Uh, there was you remember that uh, podcast we found of people actually talking about yeah the they forum. were talking about it they yeah were they were the talking audience. about that younger audience and yeah. everything as well. And that's kind of what I thought about. I, I kind of traced it yeah, back to we that. We were probably a problem. We were probably we, part oh, of it. Oh, I guarantee you, I I made some dumb, cringy decisions because I tried. I tried doing art for people, and I can't I did draw. Do art for people. I couldn't draw. You could I did. draw. I did. Ace is better than me. One of the users actually used one of my like kaiju busts as yeah. their profile picture for a while. But I before the before the forums. Um, closed down like after the change to the forums being blue and everything because they changed the it from orange and red and shit to well it was blue. like a t it was like a brownish tone with like orange bars yeah yeah and then they changed it to blue in the later years when it was dying and at that point, as you do as a corpse yeah at that <laughs> <laughs> at that point i pretty much screenshot my kaiju all the stuff and kind of like went on my way uh, oh no, the virtual rigor mortis is, is <laughs> kicking in. It kicked in. And then uh, one day, me and Casey were, or I was looking it up or whatever, because I, I, I used to check it every like five months mm -hmm. and um, it we was just gone. That it was dead. It that was whole, fucking gone. A whole community. A whole community managed to die because of one person and a failed game. Which is sad because that 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 could have continued if they actually yeah. changed it. this. That whole thing could have been just like a big scam, just like the biggest scam that we've ever been a part of. It could have been. It it, it wasn't necessarily a scam. It was more of a failure. Mm. Um, Basically, what? Unless I have my shit mixed up because uh, I haven't listened to that podcast. I don't. You know, I I did not being younger. I did not pay attention to all that Simon Cowell bullshit. Right. Anyway. Or so not Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell. The judge from... Right. Basically what we're talking about is back in the day there was a forum um, for 
the original creator of the well i don't know if he was a creator i think he was just like a he director was producer a, or, he was making a game he was he was part of the old Kong godzilla Kaiju combat he was part of the old godzilla fighting games such as save the earth uh unleashed yeah. which were fucking amazing games and i really wish that they would make ones like that which is what the hope was for this forum because it was and rumors they had they had this whole basically the entire bandwagon of the forum was make a monster get get you know a running going put in a small bit of money for a submission yeah make if it, he gets not if he gets selected we'll make official art for him and we'll put him in the that's game. the thing the official artwork was done by matt frank it was fucking amazing matt frank's artwork like look up the godzilla neo artwork mm -hmm. and it's just oh by the way there's a person on there i'd like to shout out that probably will never hear this quinn red quinn fucking red Quinn Red. Thank you for the art. Like, honest to God, free. Like, I, I think it I want to shout art. out fucking Duke Crimson, Duke Predalian Plush, Predalian Plush, uh, Dracosaurus. Yes, uh, all fucking, of them. Dude, fucking, I can't even name uh, them. I can't remember God all the damn. names. Yeah, I can't even. But, I like, can't even. I, there are so many people in there that just were so talented, good writers. Oh, motherfucking. Amazing artists. Ow. Oh. Rage, Giga Raptor. Something Rage the Bioweapon. That was, Fucking a, Giga, that was a good guy. I think it was Giga Raptor. Giga Raptor. Oh, he died early on because he's not died literally. Oh my god. But, I was like, wait, no. What? Do you remember? He, didn't he give up his kaiju or give up the forums a little while? Was Giga Raptor his kaiju or was that his name? I can't remember, but it was a badass mech. Oh my god, check. it was badass. I'm gonna look oh it up. Oh my god, it was so cool. Oh dude, my kaiju, I was so I was kind of blown away when I actually got art from people who just took interest Jack in for it. Alligator. <laughs> Fucking for alligator, yeah. It's on Deviant Art. Um but it it's funny. Uh Funny enough about my kaiju specifically, I because I'm starting a production company, I actually am reusing them. Uh, I'm I changed the color palette in some of the in the yes. backstory of it takes the core the one. Wait, oh what? shit, this is like an actual. What you actually found it? No, you know no, like this, this is up. actually update kaiju combat. The fall of Nemesis has been canceled. As of January 1st, 2017. It's colossal kaiju combat, yeah. remember? Well, it says, it just says, yeah, I mean, yeah. As of January 1st, 2017, the fall of Nemesis is no more. If kaiju combat is resurrected, oh, hang on. Yeah, because on the four, on the, not Resurrected the and made in the future, it would be without Nemesis. Oh, was it a problem with that too? Yeah, I remember they had a copyright issue with kaiju combat. And so they made it Colossal Kaiju Combat. And then there were some other issues. Oh my I god. I just looked in images and look at all game. this. And for the excitement in the Kaiju community. Yeah. Look at all that oh fucking artwork, dude. Uh, these are people's dude, creations. Matt Frank's so talented. Yeah, it was supposed to take the core team and technology from the Pipeworks Atari Godzilla fighting games and merge it with design Spinator. output and creative input from our amazing fans. Spinator. Oh my god, dude. Matt Frank. Didn't Zach get in? Mijin got as far as getting a card. That's right. That is... Here it is, here it is, here it is. Where is it, where is it? Giga Fuck. Raptor. Yeah, that was his kind of fucking A. That thing is Can badass. <laughs> dude, oh my god, this takes me back. This does take me I miss this, dude. Because here, here's the thing. There there was talk on one of the Discord servers about I pretty much left all the Discord servers, but there was talk about reviving it in some way or something. And I, I don't know. Apparently there was a lot of beef with the creator Simon and whatnot and a bunch of other shit. Hyena, hyena or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh my Kyotida. god. Oh my god. Sharktopus. Kediusha. Ah, uh, I'm having fucking flashbacks. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Lycanoid Macrosaurus. Yep. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh. Oh, I missed them all. You know what's really cool? Oh, what? Nightstone Manor was so creative. Pro oh, so was Prospector Pete. Wow. Prospector Pete. Wow. 
Oh my god. SPN2 progenitors? Oh, that's all those. Yeah. Oh my god. No whole Colt Con. Oh my god. Anyway, so basically the thing was, you know, I'm kind of glad that I never got any of mine in because I get to use those now. Yeah. And I honestly, with how much people like them originally, I'm very surprised. See, my thing... So basically the whole thing with the server was you create your monster and then like sponsorship time would roll around and you would get people basically voting. They'd vote see, on like, who the most gets popular in. kaiju who, who A would golf get in. course got Mulligan? it. Mulligan? Oh, dude, Mulligan's great. A literal fucking golf course. Fucking Mulligan. You talk shit on my boy and he's a train. Don't, don't, don't you give me that face, you son of a bitch. I can go all night with this. Fuck you. We're not, we're not talking about it. We're not, <laughs> we're not talking about but it. But no. We all, we all threw in. I got as far as throwing my hat into the sponsorship ring. That is as far as I got. Never got anything I did it sponsored. one. I still remember sitting in my dining room with, watching the stream. Oh my God. You were so... It upset you were devastated i was like no damn it because i was like you know i was throwing there my was a guy ring. who wouldn't give you that because there there was like people who would do like stuff like they give you art they give you cool stuff well there was a guy who did little sprites and he said he said no to you because of your kaiju there's too many dog type kaiju or something yeah well, i mean doker i was basic as shit man you said the name of it. Yeah, whatever. You've given away your location. The FBI are showing Don't up. Don't make me say the name of the train. You better fucking stop. Basically, my kaiju, you know, he was basic as shit, you know? Honestly, I feel like that 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 alone, what we said, is enough information to give him I who we are. <laughs> have a, yeah, if I have anybody a, from the I forum said here to us. I don't care. But if you want, I'll believe it. I don't give a shit. No, I don't. Oh my god, you're so fucking. Me, 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 me. You're so I am not beaker. Like, you I are. am not you're beaker. beakering. Fuck you. You're so fucking. Me, 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 me. Wait, wait, wait. So fucking worried. <laughs> so fucking worried about everything. I am. I'm. I'm very paranoid. I get that from my mother. Whatever. <laughs> it's great. Basically, my guy was pretty. He could have gone with a. He could have gone. With a like a reboot. He could have used a reboot. Mm -hmm. I could have done a whole redesign on him and just got him, you know, fucking amped. But there's oh so my many... god, there it is. Fourth result. Yeah, there he is. Fourth result is my kaiju for this. There it is. That is a piece of history there. I remember those yeah, nights, is. man. Dude, I was a little shit when I was a kid. Dude, I feel so bad for everybody who communicated with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't feel sorry for you. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't count. <laughs> is that yeah, so? Quinn Red's on DeviantArt. And yeah, I bet you if I... So if you want to go check that motherfucker out, that guy's got all sorts of art, and it's amazing. It is absolutely stunning. One of the coolest fucking people on the platform from what i remember at least um, oh that's what wow what what happened so when i look up dogurai he doesn't actually come up right away a game called dogurai shows up <laughs> that's beautiful and it's like, oh, it's, it's like, okay, it's like an indie game. That's cool. But no, if I do this. Oh, look, I commented. Long time no see, Queen. Bam, Could there I he is. First result. Color of First result. Oh, if you I look up his it. name and then Kaiju, there he is. I just That's said the original my Kaiju's artwork. Name. I just said my Kaiju's name. <laughs> oh, well, I don't care. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> A wild alligator appears. <laughs> so, oh, so God. crazy. Whoa! What? His fan? He has a he has a wiki page. He got a whole wiki page. Wait, what? I think you made a wiki, didn't you? No, I think someone took this and oh, his information's here. What? 
Somebody cared enough? Somebody cared enough to throw all of Dogrin's information here on this wiki page. You need to screenshot the entire page. Wow. Hold on, wiki. I don't, I probably don't. I don't think Kyofu is good enough to get a wiki. Well, I only, he only was so good because like, you know, I had a little story with him too. Like you didn't really Yeah, you write... had an entire saga. That wasn't a little story. That was an entire fucking series. A saga that could have been I never much, I never got much improved. To... I had a background and I never had anything with my kaiju, unfortunately. Like I I didn't get to really make him shine cuz he was later cuz you remember my original my original uh kaiju was pretty much terrible this is his original information too mm -hmm. like that is his un original information before i rebooted it because i rebooted his information a little so bit. that's not even the reboot that's that that's the, the original information that is when he was human and he turned into no he was not human he was oh, there an was a human and yeah he, there was a human that he that summoned him and he like went ballistic on the whole place that was his more villainous information mm. i make i gave him more of a heroic information thing yeah i gotta on. be honest that's pretty nice that that's fucking nice i don't have the only thing of kyofu i have left is i don't even know if i have it but hopefully i have a screenshot of his bio if I don't, I'll do I'll something be real with upset. him. Even if I don't make him a giant monster, you know? Like, even if I just do something a little different. Yeah. Well, you know. What I did with Kyofu, I recolored him pretty much in my head. I I don't have an artist drawn him or anything. Mel made a cool-ass uh... Kyofu. He's falling from the mic. What if you were, like... Three inches tall and just fell off the mic. Uh, uh, just fuck. hop off. I'm back. Sorry. Um. So anyway, uh, yeah. we rambled about rambled that. A bit. <laughs> we rambled about all that topic. My bad. Gave some shout outs to some old. Some shout outs to some friends. We got i I'm still part of that Discord group. Which one? That I think the one I invited are you. In. Yeah. I left a bunch of them because I, honest to God, just did not. You know. I don't know. But um. I tried to get back into it. I, uh, yeah. So, what about you, Cody? Any topics you have on your mind? Well, hmm? well, and hmm. I want to say about like <laughs> there, there is shit I want to talk about. Let me see if I wrote it down. If I'm dumb, dumb, bubblegum, dummy, thick over here. Um, um, that voice crack. <laughs> nice. Uh, um, what are you, creepy um, besson? What the fuck's wrong with you? No, I I get voice crack because my voice. <laughs> Fucking god. Oh, Very nice. Oh my god. I did write shit down. Yeah? Yeah? YouTube comment mojo thrown off. You do YouTube comment mojo, mojo thrown, thrown off. off. And I know this had context. Probably. And I, I'm kind of mad I forgot. comment mojo, mojo thrown, thrown off. off. What could that mean? I don't know. High school reunions are coming that's up. New, yeah, that's this year. I don't. I oh gotta my, find for out you about at least. that. Mine is next year. If that's I gotta the case. find out with about that. I man. think they send you. They're supposed to send you shit in the mail, but I don't know with COVID they might cancel it and reschedule. Oh it. yeah, but that would COVID mean they'd have to fuck push it. everything. Yeah, COVID might fuck that. Or huh. they could just do a Zoom call with thirty thousand people. Or I'm not. I'm not, not getting that, that stupid I'm, fucking. Zoom I would call. not do it. I, I do if it. it's if there's gonna be an event, I want there to be a fucking event that I can go to. 100%. Maybe get some food. I'm gonna throw this out. See some chicks, and then go home. Get some bitches. Fuck some money. <laughs> get bitches. Fuck money. <laughs> fuck money. Get bitches. Um. Ouch. My nerve. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to. Ouch. I'd like to go. Yeah. Uh, I see. See, I'm hesitant about my high school reunion because personally, me. 
I was a completely different person growing up. That's why you go. And it's like, look how much you've grown. Look how much you've changed. I could afford to lose some pounds, though. We all could. Emotionally and physically. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um... um, And also, I'm working... We're at a factory. Uh -huh. So, it's not really like... Oh, why? You think you're gonna go there and you're gonna see, like, an old classmate and they're like, Oh, I work at a very no, high No, but, brow. like, you want to be accomplishing a little bit more. Fascinating. You work at a factory. Uh -huh. I happen to own factories. Not here in China. I guess I can spout mm. off that I'm starting a production company. That's about it. Yeah, you're working on starting a production company. There you go. That that that's got something. Me, I'm on that's the other hand. That's got merit. At least on the other hand, I'm like, you're the fucking, fucking. You're the hoodie man. <laughs> the cool Did, I wore this hoodie in high school. This is a high school hoodie. I know. I it's old as dirt. I remember. <laughs> it's super old, but it's super comfy. Dear God, it's got little, aglets. little metal aglets. On the oh, they're metal? strings, yeah. yeah, they're like nice. well, if they're not metal, they're like a plastic. Yeah, I don't think they're like magnetic or anything, so they might not be metal at all. That's interesting, but it's comfy, you know. Oh, dude, I actually wrote down some good topics. Oh yeah, hit me. Worst dreams, like your your worst nightmare. Oh well, that one's easy. Um, spat it out. Yeah, I mean, you know this one already. I've told you multiple times. Is it the you Scarecrow? Yes, it's the Scarecrow. It's the Scarecrow. You haven't said it on the podcast, though. Okay, well, I'll tell the story. Tell the story. Um, and I'll uh, tell you when I was younger... Hmm, what would I say? Maybe 10, 9, 10, maybe. Maybe even younger than that. Younger? Really? I don't even... I, I could have sworn dude. you were at least in, like... I don't think I was not in the teens yet. No, no? I was definitely I was definitely below. Hmm. Um, but I had this dream where there was this like scarecrow with like a flaming jack o' lantern for a head, with a chainsaw, and he was going around. He was cutting kids up, and it terrified the shit out of me to the point where I did not want to go to bed the next night. Yeah, it was very spooky. I was very afraid, and that's about it, really. That's it. What else is there to say? It was a scarecrow and he was chopping kids up. And I was like, uh, take a seat, sit back, get ready for I mean, I guess I could think of other things. the problem. Look, this, this motherfucking dream lasted two full weeks. I was being babysitted at the time. Babysat. <laughs> Fuck you. Next. <laughs> That, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that would probably that's all red <laughs> yeah just like your face is gonna be I don't know what that was but I, I'm glad the mic covered it <laughs> okay anyways uh, this stream lasted for two legitimate like whole ass weekday like 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 week week so like five days a week type shit the mm -hmm. weekends I guess they just t took a certified break. freak in the Seven sheets. days a week? In the sheets. Right. In, <laughs> in the sheets. <laughs> in the um, sheets. <laughs> but I was being babysat by uh, my buddy's baby... I, I don't know how to explain it. She was a... She, was, she babysat him and I was over at his place, his grandparents. And we were so chilling out. she babysat the both of you. And basically during... Yeah, during the summer. And then I'd go home the night. My thick? mom come and pick... Really? She was juicy, Ooh. but she was way older than me, so oh. I was a kid, so uh. I had no interest. But anyways, the nightmares would happen, of course, when I go home, and I go to sleep, and <sighs> it was back fat when cake. I... <gasps> 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 Would you say fat cake? Yeah, fat cake! No. <laughs> no! Don't sit on me! There's a... No, <laughs> no fat kid! No, um... Now, you remember when I live or when I when I lived when <laughs> yeah I moved out no uh, when I was in the room down there yeah uh, so basically I would had my bed against the wall and then the TV was near the door yeah. and everything wow. so I I went in there went to bed and this it was like a zombie apocalypse but instead of being zombies people were slowly turning into these horrifying dolls 
That's right. It's the doll dream. And it lasted for two whole ass weeks, my guy. This one with the Sphinx? No. No. Oh, one? where Millennium Recolored chases me down the spiral staircase yeah. in slow motion? No, that's, no, not that's the same a different one. one. That is literally the whole dream for that dream. But that is not the worst one. The worst one is, is the two whole weeks. And what happens is it starts off where. Me and the the kid I'm being you know babysat with, we're hanging out, we're whatever, and a bunch of other people I know. I think you were in it, probably Lauren was in it, some other shit. And you know, this just things started to happen and we're like on the run. So it's like at this point, things are on the news, there's safe house word of safe houses and all this other shit, but people are turning into these dolls. And <laughs> Everyone get the fuck out of here. Everyone's turning into dolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, there were different classes of dolls. Like, if uh, you could actually make this into a thing. Classes There was, of like, dolls. yeah, there was the creepy little Annabelle dolls. There was the, the dummy, you know, puppeteer horrifying dolls. And then there were the dolls that, that um, were, Horse. like, a giant, ver like, a human-sized version of... Do you remember the little doll... From Toy Story 2, uh, Sid's little sister's doll that he takes the head off and puts a pterodactyl That's head not Toy on. Story 2. That's Toy Story 1. Are you sure? Yeah. Sid oh. was in 1. He wasn't in 2. Was he? 2 was when they... Uh, it's been a long time. 2 was with like Al Al's toy barn and shit. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, so well then, Toy Story 1. The little rag doll. Forgive dolls. me. Um, like a rag doll. But yeah, the, the 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 little doll. But it was it was basically that. And there's this one specific moment that haunts me. Like I still see. Like I I'm not. It actually got me over my fear of dolls for the most part. I'm still cautious around them. Obviously, you'll never get over that. But like, um, it it got me over the main fear. So there, we're walking down the street and like a cul-de-sac type beat. Walking uh, down the street. <laughs> Call the sack time beat <laughs> and Eddie at my feet. No, um, and it's like my, okay. we have a little group. We have mm -hmm. like this little group with mm -hmm. us, and we're like sneaking around. It's night, and we're we're like, oh my god, look, is that a person? And we look, and you know how like it's like a stereotypical little one story house, and there's the the window that would be above the sink, and you can see the yellow lights on, and there's a silhouette of a normal woman there you know with the mom hair and everything and then we're, we're like wait a minute and we look closer and then she she literally is just one of those dolls and her head slowly turns uh, all the way around looking directly out us out the window everything <laughs> and and we're like fuck and we book it anyways uh, there's so much that I don't remember because I would literally wake up in cold sweats, horrified, not being able to go to sleep, like literally shivering mm -hmm. in fear. And at the climax, it became a lucid dream and I fucking blew up the planet. <laughs> but basically what happened was we all hopped in this like red, this nice, like a uh, hot rod red Cadillac or some shit. Like Cadillac, all, like almost nice. like a 50s style Cadillac Ooh. where it's like it's like a fucking matchbox fins? car. Yeah, it had the fins Ooh. and shit. And basically it rocket shipped up as as ev all the dolls in the entire <laughs> like area were just oh swarming God. it. Jack it up, rock it up into the sky in the red hot <laughs> Cadillac. Yo. Pretty, pretty fucking much. And, <laughs> and, and we were going... We were, we were going and there's like, you know, summer straggling on. They're like, they're like you know, like they're not making noise. They're dead silent. They don't have mouths and they only have the black beady eyes mm. and they're horrifying. And so we're smacking them off. We're, we're attacking them. We got guns. Da, 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 da. And, and then I put, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this planet. And I take out a fucking rocket launcher with a nuke in it. And I just fired at the earth and it just kills all of them. <laughs> It, it like blows up the them. planet, reforms it, and then you can see this like almost it's a hell like of a nuke. This weird, you see this weird like, like almost like a, a wave go back over the planet, and it just the dolls are gone. What about the people? They're back. Okay. It was like it was like <laughs> blowing up the planet you was nuked the key. The planet with a singular with a singular nuke, mind you. A magical nuke. A then magical I fire nuke. from space and our. Topless Listen, man, we've Cadillac. Already, we've already been hit with two 
And that's not even including the testings. Okay. And we're still around. You're trying to rationalize so a, single- a Cadillac going to space where we with no Jetsons little bubble, no no protection. No, no, shield. that makes sense. That that no, checks that out. Makes sense. Just, we don't need air. No, yeah, no, it's just the nuke. <laughs> the the freezing in space is that the checks thing. out. The dolls they check out. It's just it's it's you know the doll it's virus. The it nuke. checks out. It's just the nuke. <laughs> and, and yeah, that was the worst dream. It actually traumatized me. Wow. And had me get over my fear of dolls for the most part. Yeah, well, now mine just sounds stupid. It it was like the worst fucking experience ever. I have, and I haven't, I don't know anybody else who has this, but I'll have dreams where I'll, I'll have them when I'm a kid and then they'll continue. Like there, there are nightmares when I'm a kid and then they'll continue and there'll be dreams that turn, have a happy, happier ending when I'm like older. It's really fucking weird. The secret ending. Yeah, it, it, it really is. It's like. Because there, there was the one I was being chased through like a Turns swamp. out people are turning into sex dolls. Hey, wait a minute. I can I have, I can work with this to my advantage. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I have an idea. Sex shop. <laughs> oh, it's literally a sex shop. That would be human trafficking at that point. Would it? The humans turn into sex dolls and you're but selling them. But they don't them. change back. Still. They're a they're... human inside of a sex doll body. All right, Denise, what what are you into? <laughs> All right, Denise. Yeah, I figured. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you look the type. <laughs> yeah, you look the type. It's just the sex doll with his mouth open. It's fucking great. Fucking pog. Oh, <laughs> oh that's horrible. Sex dolls were the original pog jam. I say we take back pog jam. If we take the, back for, for the community. We take it back. We take it back. And we make it a good symbol. No. <laughs> no? Too lazy. No. <laughs> too, too fucking lazy. Not too lazy, uh, just that's stupid. Stupid. Uh, oh, fine. I guess you are my little pog champ. <laughs> what are you, meatball from fucking. Ow. <laughs> I just ran out of little parts. <laughs> I don't know what the time is. I don't know what's going on. What the hell? What the hell is going on? I love out. Shake. Dude. God, I'm gonna fucking hold it. Shake is great. I could do hunger force. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with us? I don't know, man. I'm still caught up on YouTube comment mojo, mojo thrown, thrown off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh. The other part of the dream thing. Are you sure it's not YouTube comments and then Mojo thrown off is a different subject? No. It's one line. I, I do it by line. Um, just like my Coke. Uh, uh, no, I, it doesn't matter. Just like my firing the other squad. Part, the, <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, the other part of the dream thing was best dream. Best dream. Best dream. Oh my god, I have so many of these. I don't know. You don't have one? I only remember the oh. really fucking crazy ones or the nightmares. Oh my god, dude. Well, okay. Wet dreams aside. Wet um, dreams aside. No horny. No horny? The anti-horny spray here. Anti-horny spray? Where? <laughs> you know, all, is, it inside, is that the, the anti-horny monument? I'll bust out the anti-horny spray Mr. Krabs photo. No, no, the anti horny. That is, is no, that, that's a that's a salt that's lit, lamp. My mom put that. If in that's here. lit, is it anti horny hours? And if it's unlit, I haven't noticed. Yeah, if the if that <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know, if you have a lit uh, Himalayan salt lamp, uh, it's anti horny hours. So ah uh, yes. make sure you turn that off before you engage in any sort of. Cletus. Otherwise, it won't be that great. But okay, so some a lot of my dreams. Involve me having some sort of superhuman capability. Oh my god, yes. Um, <gasps> you have one? Do you remember when I came to you the next day after having that like crazy superhero dream with Captain America and a bunch of other shit when I was a kid? I told you about it and I don't remember a damn thing about it. I don't know. Neither do I. I don't remember shit. Neither um, do I. but. 
But that would my <laughs> a lot of the people when they ask me what kind of superpower do you want to have, and it's like, would you want to fly? Would you want to be super strong? And I'm like, nah, dude. What's the southern? I don't know. Sometimes people are southern. We're southern, but we're in Pennsylvania. Wait, Where what? the hell is your god? To- hey, there's some southern people here. In the northerner. Let's be real. They're like there's there's two types of redneck. There's southern redneck and there's northern redneck. I mean, I guess. That's how it works. Northern you go, the more Canadian you get. Wee! Tell uh, me. Is that my ass? My ass stinks. Ah, uh, dude. No, but like... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, like you've never had those moments where like... Oh, come on. Get your ass over here. Bro, I wish... I'm gonna rub my ass over this fucking table. <laughs> like a cat that has dingleberries. I'm <laughs> gonna fucking... <laughs> this is great, Stop. but That's no, 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 no. Chair. You've never, you've never had those days where like you <laughs> fart a bunch and it's just kind of festering, you know. And it, it's hot. Yeah, it's and just it's hot. Meaty. And it's festering. It's just kind of like that's gunky. me right now. It's like a swamp. That is, yeah, it's swampy. It sucks. It sucks. Oh. I gotta take care of this, dude. But you gotta be careful. I don't want you. I'm not keep, gonna fucking I, that's spray Febreze on anything. Thing. I'm not gonna spray. I'll turn on the any Febreze thing chairs. back up. I'll I'm, turn it back. No, up. I'm not. I, so we choke. I'm out. not gonna fucking like spritz shit all over your just fucking liquid room. shit all over <laughs> my wall. <laughs> liquid There's shit. shit everywhere. I just, oh, dude. That's I, all over the wall. I fucking stink, dude. Like fuck. Oh, that was the greatest part of um. The Dumb, Dumb and Dumber, Dumber with the shit prequel. over the walls. That's that a is a prequel, isn't it? I don't know. I never watched the movies. I know the, the original. Yeah, no. That's a prequel because the original uh, Dumb and Dumber was the just Dumb and Dumber. So, And then they came out where, where Harry met Lloyd. That that came out second, I believe. Hey, what was the thing you were going to say? Your best dream. Oh, before my stink ass. Your, and, your, and... your, your dog shit. Yeah. Um... <laughs> dog farts <laughs> no because like okay done. um don't look up cake fart yeah don't do that unless of course you want to laugh your ass off and or vomit uh or fab uh, you know or it fab. depends on your or interpretation fab. hey it's okay there's a butthole in it okay dream anyway. <laughs> <laughs> too many ass jokes in this <laughs> The timing on that was perfect. What happened? Holy shit. I when I it. said there's a butthole in it, you just came, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay, wait. All right. So, like, okay. One of my, like, dream powers is to have, like, controlled lycanthropy. To just be able to shift the werewolf a fucking, shit, yeah. like, bestial werewolf and just Ring fucking wreck Ring of Hersine. Ring of Hersine. Yes. Ring of Hersine style. Mm. Ring of hair swing style. No. Um, <laughs> King of the Hunt. <laughs> I got my fucking rifle here. I'm sitting up here in my tree snail. Guy of the Hunt. <laughs> anyway. Daedric, Prince of the Hunt. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you give him that accent? Because Harrison is the god, uh, the Daedric Prince of the Hunt. Oh he, my god, it's a redneck! His, he sits up in his tree stand. I would... Chewing. I would die instead of a deer or an elk. But he was just Tell a me hunter. Me. Tell me We're getting... fucked. Shit. Anyway. Tits. But, like, any of my dreams that I have, like, controlled lycanthropy, or I'm just kind of, like, out, and, and like, out. either I have, like, enhanced speed or whatever, and I'm just, like, running through a field or something, or I'm, like, running through some trees or some shit. You're just booking it. I'm just fucking going, Like, man. down that alley. Because, like, I remember one of them. <laughs> I was, like, in the woods nearby, I guess, like, like a military complex or something, and there's these mm-hmm. dudes, like... Uh, like like scanning the area. Audio. Well, no, they're not. It's like nighttime, and they're, oh, like they're scanning, scanning the area. Up. And I'm just going through, and I'm just fucking, mm-hmm. bam, fucking I'm them just up, fucking shit up. Now, are you stealthy? So cool. or you like the well, classic? Well, it's like it's like one of those you know, horror movies shots. where like they're looking around and it's all quiet, but then like all of a sudden it's just like, yep. and there's like one dude's dead, gone, gone. And it's just like another gone. one coming, boom, and I like jump off a cliff onto another guy, just fucking Ooh. bam, and it's like oh damn, to be able to just. Wreck shit. I'm pretty sure I toppled over a fucking uh, tractor trailer and one of them just like yeet that shit. It's just oh, it's so Sounds cool. Sounds fucking sick. They're so cool. I just I just don't have any really memorable like good dreams. Like most of my dreams are like they're either 
Watch, choose your words carefully, mister. The anti-horny lamp is on. <laughs> the anti-horny lamp. Um, no, like, I don't, I like, all my dreams are, like, the ones at least that I can remember when I wake up are either goofy as shit, like the one where you sprint over a car <laughs> and down an alley. I still love that. We're going to have to, like, reenact that. We, like, that should be... We're honest to God going to reenact that. Yeah, like, just me and I'm just going to fucking sprint. <laughs> you gotta... Um, or they're, they're more like the, like, I don't know, just a survival situation or a nightmare. That's not, you know. I mean, nightmares can be cool. You even can unsettling take, ones. You can take shit from nightmares. Yeah, because like, when, usually when I have a nightmare, it isn't normally scary for me anymore. It's, just it's more just, yeah, it's just unsettling. I haven't had a nightmare, like, wake me up. I have. Recently? Oh. Recently. Oh. Uh, like in my in my old age, I have not had a nightmare actually wake me up in quite some time. Yeah. You know what fucked up dream that I had? That I I mean like, no, it wasn't it wasn't stop. There is no horny. What is wrong with you? I'm not talking about my grandmother. <laughs> no, stop. That's nasty. <laughs> No. Oh, that's For those who don't know, I keep pointing at him. <laughs> so, Getting him a stern the look. The anti-horny lamp. Go on. <laughs> Just did it again. I'm not pointing at the lamp. It's <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Knife Jesus. Knife Jesus. I want his beard to, like, just come out, grab the knife, and throw it at you. <laughs> like, just throw it at people. Oh! Just his locks. His beautiful locks just go... Anyway. Your um, dream about your grandmother that's but not But basically, horny. it... <laughs> Wait, am I not horny, or is she not horny? Or is it not I would horny? hope it's neither of them. <laughs> there it is. Uh, no, but go um, on. No, uh, but it, it, it's it's a really bad dream. Um, and unlike most nightmares, it was, like, very, like, realistic. Mm -hmm. So, like, you could see it happening. <laughs> well, no, I just keep looking Bounce over at you, and when you look where? up, you, like, go cross-eyed. Are you, like, looking at the mic? Yes. Okay. I'm looking at the mic, so I keep, like, I keep like looking over at you, and I just keep seeing, like... <laughs> It looks I'm like, stupid. what? Go on. Go on. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> That's fucking great. Ew. <gasps> look at them goldfish eyes. <laughs> Memo looking bitch. Ouch. Like, <laughs> um, but it's like, it's like, it's fucked up. Because I like, I, I get home and at the time I was working in construction. So I was living at my grandparents. And I'm driving home in my truck. And... Get in the driveway, and I just see my grandfather there, and he's like in his chair, and he just kind of like somber, and he's just like, mm. you know, just quiet and whatnot. And I'm like, w you know, we're talking, we're I'm trying to make chit chat, and it's just bouncing off of him, and I'm like, what's happening? And it's like, it's like, I think at some point, like we were in a conversation, and he's like, your grandmother, you know, like grandmother passed away or whatever, um, and I'm like, I'm like. The fuck? Arguably, the nightmares that are like, ugh, like seated in reality are the worst. Yeah, like you can have ones where you're getting attacked by zombies and monsters and fucking yeah. shit like that. But the ones that are grounded in reality are probably the yeah. worst. Because you can't to have. go lucid from that. No, because it's like, oh shit, this is my life now. Yeah, this is like, like I was literally coming to terms, and I woke up, and I wasn't like crying, but I was like on the verge. Do you ever like, feel like maybe fuck? dreams that have that amount of realism is looking into like an alternate timeline? I was just thinking about that, where like because like, my maybe grandmother that did happen shortly after my grandmother did have to go to the hospital and almost. Because the hospital's fucking incompetent. By the way, if you ever go to a hospital, make sure it's not owned by. Uh, they have, they're terrible, as well, far as I know. Every experience, just like, but um, like that might like they, they almost killed her. They almost gave her fucking strawberries. Ugh. And on top of that, she almost uh, I wouldn't say died necessarily, but she was in pretty bad condition because of she has diabetes and. She had way too high sugar count mm. and all that shit. And so she had to be hospitalized for like a week or two or a few weeks. Yeah, but the and point there is like maybe that was 
sometimes the way I look at it, like maybe that was a glimpse into another life, another version you, of you, this. that's you. And but this that's one like, survived; the other did not. Yes, the other one is, and I had to come to terms like, with that. the bad ending. Yes, and that's what you saw. Witnessed. Like that's what I think I know... a lot when I see yeah. like like okay, so not even just that, like bad dreams or whatever. Yeah. Sure, like that's like a glimpse into your other life, but like not all you... bad dreams are not all dreams correlate to something some are just goofy. yes the moments like you when you're in your alleyway yeah the moments when you <laughs> i have to bring it back every time like keep it you, alive i've mentioned this before but when you're in the bathroom and you just look at yourself in the mirror and you have an out-of-body experience zone. yeah and you actually you're like this is what i'm in this is me yes this, this is, is me this is who i am yeah what if that's like kind of like what if like that's like a like a zero point like that's like where all of these like other universes like come together for like one second like the it's rick like the rick and morty part where they're all like wait why can i hear two of me and th- it's because yeah, they're all like you're looking in like everyone is looking the at themselves dimension. in that moment like everyone those just are the moments right where you there. have that yeah that it's almost like a, a sinking point it's like a convergence it's like, like a that's sink. like zoom was like wait a minute because like you kind of have to, like, bring yourself back, like, wait, this is me. Yeah. This is how I'm at. And I'm like, okay, we're fine. And then I mean, you're this, good to go. This might sound crazy to a lot of people, but, like, realistically speaking, from a scientific perspective, like, you don't care if you're an atheist, if you believe something or not, mm-hmm. the multiverse theory is... It, I believe it's a, it's it's a, a decent thing. idea. It, I believe it, it's, it's a thing. There's no... Like, it, it's kind of funny in a lot of ways how the scientific community is so closed-minded... No, I'm not. Well, I'm sure to call me. Hold on, I gotta pause the cast. Uh, hey, oh, okay, we're back. we are okay. back. I so, had to take a call from my mother for yes. food. So. so here's the here's here's the basic thought we were talking about convert like a convergence point between multiverse theory. Yeah. So I'm so, not talking like there's gonna be yeah. like a it's portal that like, opens up and it's like listen, we gotta go save the multiverse. And it's like oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's not like DC universe or Marvel comics type shit. It's more of like in reality. Well, f- first of all, we're making huge progress and rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. But black holes, amazing. It was proven. It's there. It's real. Awesome. Theory proven. But the weird part about the scientific community is they're very like against all this stuff because and i i think it's funny okay, but what's more important but, but look, space travel or look, multiverse theory but look that is, <laughs> but look at look at this like this in a similar way to fandoms for games and art and communities like that like let's say undertale or cyberpunk or something oh. <laughs> there's a huge amount of just shitty people in shitty perspectives and you saying that the scientific out. community is a terrible fandom i'm saying that a large part of the reason why the scientific community that i think is closed off to ideas of extraterrestrial life other than ourselves in an ever-expanding no universe yeah no i don't care if you're religious or not there's a way to explain it first of all the bible doesn't say it because why the fuck would humans way way less pro- you know progressed in life need to know that uh we got to focus on the now and here before we even get to there (laughs) second of all the the, it's just science is the explanation of the unknown yeah but yet the community i think is so closed-minded in a lot of ways because they're they they see it as oh well this doesn't exist uh why wouldn't it there's uh there's a literal percentage of chance where this could happen well, yeah, or anything could happen there's a... there is a chance that a a super powered alien that looks like a human could fall to fucking earth and be our savior or our demise well see here's the thing there's there a difference a between percentage. there's a difference between this doesn't exist and this doesn't exist but here's why yeah there's a difference between that like you know but like the the, the possibility like okay so let's let's take the chupacabra uh chupacabra. i don't know what you're talking about you have one yeah, fucking peaches. Uh, no, um, but basically, it literally is just a fucking animal. It is an animal. That's not magical. There's no mythical thing about it. Same with Bigfoot. It's literally a a. No, I'm not gonna say a human. Uh, there's the one of the other species that did not 
uh, survive evol- the, uh, the whole evolutionary thing, but instead went into hiding and avoiding and knows is intelligent like, like a monkey or uh, an ape or something like that, but is intelligent enough to say, hey, we were pretty much competing all these centuries with the humans and now the humans overpopulated the earth Mm. and we are going to stay in hiding. It's literally just another fucking animal. We are animals. All these things that people come up with are just fucking animals. And also the weirdest shit I heard about Bigfoot that they are, they can turn into fairies. Hot, right? Oh man. What a fuck. No, no, but the the, the weirdest shit I heard about (laughs) Bigfoot is like that. They can turn in these little fairy that, I don't know what kind of crack fairies. people are smoking. Bigfoot turns into a fairy. Yeah, no, that that yeah. I I'm just gonna disprove right here. That is not a scientific theory. You show me that shit, and maybe I'll you show you. me that shit, and I'm you didn't lace anything, <laughs> and drug me with anything. All right, maybe we can talk about maybe. it. But uh, no, all these things, all these myths come from something. All, a legend comes from somewhere, even if it's completely wrong, and just completely changed over the course of time. It came from somewhere. Mm. Like, oh, Santa, right? People say he doesn't exist. Wrong. There was a man who did similar actions that caused the legend of Santa Claus. I don't remember the details, but there was a man who performed the task of going to house to house to deliver things. Ah, uh, yes. Genghis Khan. Yes. Mm-hmm. The good old guy. Jesus was a human on this planet, there is evidence of that. And I'm pretty sure it was not white. No, he's Middle Eastern. All these motherfuckers are like, white Jesus. No, he's fucking Middle Eastern, you idiots. What? Even that. You literally go to the, like, like, come on. Use your fucking brain. Like, science is literally the explanation of the unexplained. It used to be called magic. Now, it's science. It's literally only a way of deciphering things. I'm not even sure how Middle Eastern that picture is. That still seems a little white to me. It is white. It's that's definitely it's probably that's white. white. It's from New York. It's we like talked Nathan. about. <laughs> it looks like Nathan. Hey Nate, uh, I need you to pose for something. Yeah, mm-hmm. it goes into Photoshop, <laughs> traces it. It's very interesting. Oh, I got a calendar. You did get a oh. calendar. Oh, very nice. Reason. I can mark things now yeah that's great but anyway what i was going basically where i was going from is like multiverse theory it could be a thing and the way i look at it is the life we are currently living yeah there's other universes where we're doing better but there's also universes where we're doing worse we are currently in a middle ground an interesting theory of mine here i'll sit back down for it an interesting theory of mine that can easily be thrown out debunked or whatever that we are the universe that creates other universe unknowingly for instance the marvel universe the dc so because the reason we are unknowing and the reason craze extraordinary events like superheroes and all this other stuff doesn't actually happen in our world is we I, fucked up somewhere well no the i line. i think is the reason <laughs> why we're we're set to make these universes is because could you imagine making the alien series and having just innocent people murdered knowing that that's what you're doing no you you're you would not be able to do that humans would not be able to create horrible things except for the really fucked up people um but it i mean that's the thing it's like yeah that's the thing the brain creates things like that but where does the brain get it from it, well, I do say that I will say that the surroundings, because you can see in our world things that are unexplained. Like I said, like well, so be- people thought things were magic. So before they could explain it, they wrote it as a guy flies in the sky on what looks like a dragon. It's a fucking plane, you know. Like it, it it's about that disconnect. It's, fucking dragon. it's about the lack of, of um. It's almost like cultural differences between the eras and a lack of understanding mixing together. So back in medieval times and or the Salem witch trials and everything, just the jump the gun, assume because I know math, I'm a witch type shit. Like like stuff like that. Like 
things that I they am could going not to explain. throw this woman into this pond. If she sinks, oh no! If she floats, she's a witch. <laughs> if she sinks, you're oh, a wizard, well, Harry. That's unfortunate. I'm going to. What is here? I'll, I'll I'll end our little scientific thing on a on a crazy little fact oh. here that always gets me. We're on the fifteenth. It's a new move. Oh, that's a terrible movie. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll end this with a little fact that I always come back to sometimes. The brain is the only organ that named itself. What? The brain is the only organ that named itself. Well, we don't name each other. We the brain... Brain. Oh, the brain. The brain I'm is the stupid. only organ that named yeah, itself. Yeah, brain itself is a label for itself. That's... Fucking weird. Like That's all the other organ, all the other organs, it's like yeah, it's a heart. These are intestines, but the brain is like, no, I'm brain. Well, the brain, the brain's like, the brain said, okay, all of you can be this. I'm going to be this. But I'm brain. So where did the word brain originate? Where did brain come from? It's fucking crazy. Well, then again, that is the English language. The brain was just. I need it. Con I need it. The I need the origin unconfined by languages and eras oh, like, where did so. the idea for naming the brain come from skull meat <laughs> noodle where did and that's the thing the brain the likes pet names you know your noodle naming your noggin brain it likes pet names Nate. showing results for blah 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 an old etymologist Entomologist? A student of a German delivered Bergen German cognate of brain from berry or bray uh, mush paste porridge. The derivation is wrong, but the idea is sound. In the remote past, people had no notion what function the brain was in the human organism. Hmm. Uh, they saw mush and called it accordingly. So wait, the so brain they saw was, the human brain. The and brain like, just saw mush and was like, "That looks like me." <laughs> it called itself mush. <laughs> I am mush. I am bland. <laughs> That's awesome. That I is am, fucking. Dope. I am mush. I am muska. <laughs> Miska. Mickey musk. That's crazy to think that the brain is capable of so many things, but in, it the, in all reality, it just mush. went. I am mush. At one point, it called itself <laughs> fucking mush. <laughs> I don't know. That was the top Google result for That's that. That's awesome. By the way. That I have no. <laughs> I, like, I like that idea though. I like that. I am mush. I am mush. Uh, That's mush. funny. I'm saying it like I'm like Russian or something. Yeah, it's you're German. saying it like it you're was saying it German. Like, you're saying it like bursk. Bursk. Like no, it's mush. Yeah, it's mush. I think it's bursk. Um. I think now is a pretty good spot. Where think already... we're a good time to end it. Oh, it's a great time to end it. How long are we doing this? An hour and 27 minutes. No shit. This is an hour and a half long. This is an hour and a half. We said we were going to do a short cast because you weren't, you were like, probably because of the. It's only because I was tired. Probably because, yeah. I was tired this morning. But yeah, I'm happy. Um, I'm probably not going to have to really edit this at all. No, this one seemed good all the way through. I say that every time I have to edit something. You do. Anyway, guys, thank you for all for tuning in to the uh, Vitamin C podcast. This is episode eight. 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 Correct. We're episode almost, seven will be, be we're coming up. We're coming up on ten, dude. Out. We're coming up on ten. Dude, when we ten hit episodes, ten. Ooh. I will fuck my own mouth. Okay. Uh, um, See you no. later, everybody. Have a, no, have no, a, no, have a no. We day. are not. No. We are not <laughs> ending it on that. That is not. <laughs> when we hit episode ten. We will have. You know what? We'll do the tier list for ten. Sure. We'll do. We'll do some fun little stuff for. We'll 10. do a few tier lists for ten. We can just shows. throw a tier list in the podcast. We don't even necessarily have to do anything different. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I want. I want the tier list to be like on screen though. Like okay, I need to fine. actually record that's it. Fine. All right. Well, All right. look look forward to uh, some fun little videos uh, coming some, up at some point. Episode uh, ten podcast is going to continue, um, and uh, we will catch you in the next one. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.